baby. Hey everybody, we're driving the Porsche again today. I got a thing in the mail from the state of California and they want me to take this car not just to get a regular smog inspection, but this time they want it to go to what they call a star station, which is another notch up as far as being harder to pass. I don't know if this car is going to actually pass this time. So in order to give it a little helping hand, I'm driving it a little bit more uh, like we are again today. And then I'm going to put a fresh tank of high test gas in it and hope that'll do it. We're going up in the northern part of the valley here. For you Hollywood buffs, when I go through this spot called Box Canyon, I think the uh, Manson family uh, of the Sharon Tate murders had a place uh, that the uh, Spawn Movie Ranch what it was called, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, it's something about it in uh, uh, Once a Time in Hollywood movie coming out soon, I think. Yeah, we're going to drive through Chatsworth Manor, Chatsworth Lake Manor or something like that. It's kind of a neat little part of the San Fernando Valley. You know, if this car doesn't pass smog, um, I'm going to be screwed. If it won't pass smog, I, I, I'm trying to give it its best shot by just, like I said, warming it up and giving it some fresh gas. But if it still, if it doesn't pass, I'm going to have to see why and maybe try to make adjustments. I mean, if I can lean it out or just, it's, we'll see. But if it won't pass and there's nothing I can do to make it pass, that's going to be uh, the real driving force in getting down to it and starting the overhaul process. Because if it won't, if it doesn't pass, then I can't drive it. I can't get a, uh, a license renewal for it, and I risk getting it impounded by the police if I drive it without a current registration. Even if I paid the registration, and even if everything else is fine, they can still impound the car because I've got it on the road and it doesn't pass smog. Welcome to California. I sure hope it passes, or at least we can make it pass. I'm not gonna take it for the inspection until probably tomorrow or the next day. So we won't find out the answer to all these mysteries until Couple of a couple days away. This is such a lovely car to drive. You know, if it doesn't pass smog, it's not going to be the end of the world. It'll actually really just motivate me to get on with it and pull the engine out of it and make it right. And this car really did. <coughs> it really did. <coughs> and this car really does deserve that. You know what's interesting about this car is it really does struggle when I go real easy on it and, and don't push it at all. It doesn't want to shift, it, it just it hiccups a little here and there. But when I start to push it a bit after it's warmed up and I start winding it up higher RPMs and tossing it around a little bit, all of a sudden it comes to life. The shifts start happening much smoother. It just seems happy and it comes alive when you actually start making it work. Good to know. When I made my shifts at about 3000 RPM, the transmission really was struggling. Uh, sometimes it just really didn't want to go from first to second. And, and then going from second to third, you had to wait a really long time. Then when I got it warmed up and I started making my shifts at 4,000 RPM, all of a sudden, the transmission wakes up a little bit and starts working. And then, when I started making my shifts at around 5,000 RPM and really getting on it a little bit, the transmission started working fine. It just was ready to go from second to third. From first to second, it drops right in. It, it really likes the higher RPMs for some reason. Um, and it sure it makes it more fun to drive. Yeah, I like it. So, I'm going to go get
Now I'm going to go get a taco.